Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So by the title of this video, you could tell what's about to go down here today. <laughs> to 7-Eleven and I picked up some makeup. <laughs> so we're about to try it out and I'm just gonna put some oil on my face because my face is really dry. This is the Derma E oil, um, the rejuvenating one with sage and lavender. Okay, so let's get started with this tutorial situation. All right, so, oh no, it's not a foundation. It's actually a BB cream. So this is the BB cream. I got the shade Deep. That was the darkest shade that they had. So I had no choice, okay? This is definitely not that deep. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this is not deep at all. You guys, like... It is a BB cream, so you can't be expecting too much coverage going on. So, yeah, let's go ahead and try the concealer in the shade Deep. Hopefully this one is a little bit better. So the brand is actually called Simply Me Beauty, in case you were wondering what the brand was called. All right, so this is the concealer here. Ooh. <laughs> this is like a fake, this wand is very strange. I'm expect, I was expecting the wand to be like, like soft but it's actually like really hard <laughs> it's kind of weird usually the wands of these are cushiony and soft this one is just like stiff like it doesn't even move it feels like I'm using a little spatula to apply this concealer interesting oh my gosh I forgot I got this blending sponge too I need to go put some water on here so I'll be right back I literally just spent my precious minute going to the bathroom to wet the sponge and it literally did nothing like it just feels the same it didn't get any bigger it's like the exact same thing so I guess you're supposed to use it like <laughs> like the rock that it is this is like a rock what is going on here <laughs> is the concealer like literally disappearing from my face though I feel like it's like vanishing do you see that it's like vanishing what's going on here um okay it's disappearing. I'm gonna add some more concealer because that's just not right. I cannot believe how hard this sponge actually is. I'm gonna set my under eye area with my regular powder because I did not, they didn't have a loose powder and I'm not really into um, setting powders that are like not loose so I didn't get it. I just got, I'm just gonna use my regular powder to set. My under eye area. Right, so now I'm going to apply some bronzer. So now I have the Sun Glow Matte and Shimmer Bronzer. This is like a compact. It has a mirror, which is nice, and I can see my nice little ashy face. <sighs> Let's just apply it on here. Actually, the bronzer is like deeper than I expected it to be. <laughs> it's kind of interesting that the bronzer is that deep. Okay, so the bronzer actually works with this foundation shade, but in real life it wouldn't work because it wouldn't. <laughs> it's only working because the foundation is like way too light, but yeah. Anyways, this is the bronzer. It's actually not that bad of a product, I don't think. It's it's kind of red, but it's not the worst bronzer in the world. It's kind of red, though. Um, next, I am going to apply some blush. Okay, so this is the Coral Blush color. It looks really nice in the pan, so hopefully it translates on my face. This one looks really pretty. It's very powdery, actually. It's like a big powder mess. No girl. Mm -mm. Uh uh. So we're gonna try the other side because this side is just not, no. Not cute. Oh my gosh. This is ridiculous. This is actually not safe. Okay, I'm gonna take a different brush. I'm gonna take this like type of brush because 
It doesn't really work well with the other brush. It's just too powdery. Okay, so like this is the blush. So this blush is not that bad. This color is not that bad. It does come with a mirror and a brush. So the brush probably sucks, but the mirror is fine. So you can definitely get this blush if you were like in a super rush and you just happen to drive by 7-Eleven instead of like Rite Aid or CVS or Walgreens or something like that, you know? Okay, next we're gonna go on to highlighter. So I got the Radiant Highlighter. Some of the items did have multiple shades, but some of them only came in like one shade. So these are the highlighter. This is the two here. They look pretty like powdery. I don't know. I'm gonna try this one here. Okay. <laughs> yeah. As you can see, it's very powdery. I'll try the other one on this side. They look exactly the same on me because they're just both very pale and just powdery. So they literally look exactly the same, which is just bad. So that's the highlighter. Let me, actually, I'm gonna put some up here so I could like highlight my forehead. So now I'm gonna do my eye makeup, guys. I have this palette. This is the Heavy Metal Palette. It is a matte and shimmer palette. And I, I don't know why I decided to go with this one with the blue in it, but I guess I was feeling like a little adventurous. I'm gonna take the black, I'm gonna take the black shade first. Let's see what happens. We're gonna go all out, okay? We're gonna go all out. All right, we're gonna just blend that in here. It's not really too pigmented, so I feel like it's like not looking that bad, you know? So that was the black, now I'm gonna take some of the blue. I'm gonna use Fix Plus because I would use Fix Plus even on like Fenty Beauty. So I'm not gonna discriminate. I'm gonna use some Fix Plus here to make this pop. Okay, we're gonna make this pop. So now I'm going to take some of this silver color. Okay, so that is it for my eyeshadow. I'm going to apply some mascara. Oh, I got eyeliner too. I'm gonna to apply some eyeliner. This is a felt tip eyeliner. All right, so that's my eyeliner. I'm gonna apply some mascara. Oh, besides the smell, the mascara was not that bad, but the smell, I don't know, the smell's kind of weird. I picked up these lashes. These are the uh, Dramatic Faux Lash. This comes with a lash glue, but I'm really not gonna use this because this is what it looks like, first of all. No, <laughs> it's not gonna happen. I'm not gonna use that on my eyes because, okay, so I did my brows off camera and I did my other, I did my lashes. The final step is lipstick. This is the Clementine lipstick. It's a Clementine color. This feels like a chapstick, like, like a lip balm, like a... This is definitely pigmented, but it's not a lipstick. This is like a, this is like a chapstick with some color on it, girl. Like, this ain't no lipstick. Alright, so this is the finished look. I don't think I like anything enough in this collection to actually use it. 
The eyeliner is not that bad. The mascara is not that bad either, but the smell of the mascara is kind of weird. The lashes, I mean, in like desperate times, they're not like the worst lashes on the planet, but I probably would not even, everything is just not good. I don't know. This is not, this is a fail. It's a fail. They need to take the L and just go home with it because, mm-mm. Mm -mm. that's the end of my thought on this review first impression video yeah you guys can try it if you want but i think you shouldn't so don't do it